Whoa, welcome back to Into the Breach. We're back into the breach. We're going into the breach. The new, the new theme here for the intro is I say into the breach a lot of times. Into the breach. Right, let's get to it, shall we? Uh, I would like to go to one of these islands, but I do not know which one. I haven't actually looked yet. So let's think about it, shall we? So a few things I want to consider is my ability to actually stop enemy attacks and my ability to open the fucking pit on these enemies. Crabs terrify me. This enemy is a nightmare. I uh, hate them. However, the rest of this island looks pretty good. Ground-based leader I can throw into a pit. Uh, Scions... A, a two health uh, non-alpha, which is the Vec. The uh, I always want to call the Wasps the Vec. They're all the Vec, but they're like I feel like the Wasps are the poster child. However, Alpha Scorpions and Alpha Fireflies are going to tear me apart, and also Crabs are 3 HP, so I think that this is a little scary. Uh, plas plasmoids, I think they're called. Plas Plasmodias, maybe? The, the ones that shoot the spores. The enemies that spawn things for you are kind of nice, because you can get free cracks on them. And there's acid here, which lets me double damage for even more crackage. Okay, let's go Det Det Detritus. Someone told me how to pronounce this, and I've already forgotten. Detritus, maybe? Detritus? Detritus? Uh, destroy all mountains. Excellent. This is going to get me closer to my all mountains achievement. Does it tell me how many? Oh, current six. Mm, yeah, let's do it. This should be this. This mission is usually pretty easy because you just throw acid at your enemies and they all die. But we will see, I suppose. I'm really worried about something like Alpha Gastropod strikes here, but this attack order he probably won't be able to because I bet this Firefly stands still. Okay, let's get to work. Are we gonna position something like this? Yeah, Lily can't get to the back H corner, but it's fine. Okay, that's good. Wait, he's... Oh, is he shooting a building? Hold on. It is shooting a building. Less good. However, let's see what we can do with the acid launcher here. You see this? I mean, what did I tell you? This mission is often very easy because of the acid launcher. You just go, oh, sorry, gentlemen. Did you want to live today? Uh, no. There's four enemies dead in one hit. Pretty good. And then you can do something along the lines of... Crack the ground here. Can't throw him in place, unfortunately. So... And I'm not gonna position... I, I could probably kill it, but... You know. It is fine this way. And then we're gonna have a basically free next turn. Throw you one. Oh, what a, what a weird sound. This should be yeah, a lot of spawns as well. Five, to be exact. Now, our opponent here is offering us a nice little bit of help with stopping enemy spawns. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out these mountains. Our boy here is just getting... Oh, this is... That's right. This is fine, because if you destroy the tile that they're spawning on, they can't spawn. So, two birds with one stone there. The Vex not coming back from that. No, I mean, I hope not. Please don't make the plasmoids fly. Thank you. Take that ground. Got it. I always love that if you kill an enemy with acid by pushing them into water, it turns the water to acid. What a great effect. Would this kill, by the way? No, it would not. But it might. God, hate moths, man. This is truly my least favorite enemy. They're such bastards. Attack order is like so. It's not so bad, by the way. I, mean, I know it's not so bad. I just I just want to take the moment to tell you how much I hate the moths. I did kind of get my mech, my pitcher mech, caught here, but it's okay. You're shooting your buddy in the back here. So, I was gonna say I could throw this uh, this moth to stop a spawn, but I cannot, it'll blow up the acid launcher. 
And I do actually have to stop the acid launcher from dying. I can't just, like, break the mountains and then let it go. Oh, wait, but I could do this to free my man. Now you can at least walk up a little bit. But also there's two pits, so... It sucks, doesn't it? I was gonna say you should repair, but you should definitely not repair, Lily. You got an attack to cancel. But a, a very good looking first mission. The acid disposal acid disposal unit missions usually are. I mean, you might think, oh, well, did you speak too soon? No, of course not. I mean, I'm just gonna, you know. This attack doesn't exist. These two guys die too. I mean, you get a nice little double kill here. Oh! Well. Uh, mouse slipped. Mouse slipped. I, it probably don't even matter. Pro it probably doesn't even matter, I should say. Spin this. Grow this. And that's fine. Go so far as to shoot him back one for fun, but I don't think I will. I'm always nervous when I have a character at 1 HP. I'm like, ooh, what am I forgetting here? But I'm not forgetting anything. Especially when it's like my main pilot though, Lily is who I'm probably- I, I hope I'm not sending Lily back in time. 7% or 3% grid defense is not very useful, but... Very nice, let's see what we've promoted to. Technician, repair 1 HP at the start of each turn. What's on this? Wow, that seems really good. Destroy acid vats and protect the robotics lab. I threat moth, but the acid vats are in a nice spot, and the defense lab is in a nice spot. The downside of this mission is there's two 2x2 two two buildings here. There's, there's four power just out in the middle of absolute nowhere. Which is not great. But, I mean, I'm going for the robotics lab, of course. I think that this is going to be very bad, but... Because, like, also, also, every enemy is going to want to attack these because they're blocked off from coming over here. Which may end up being a good thing, actually. We'll see. If I position, like, this, maybe? The goal is to try and clear the Plasmodius sight lines so that it has to swing on one of our mechs. But, I don't know how likely that is, to be honest with you. It's probably just going to throw one right here and shoot the building, but it has a lot of targets that aren't the building. Oh. That's an interesting pod location. It is shooting my max, huh? Oh, it's not even shooting because it got blocked. Interesting. Okay, let's start by- let's get untangling of this turn, shall we? What is attacking that matters? This is not a mattering attack. This is not a mattering attack. These two, so there's three attacks that matter here. That's your first thing you can assess. Second thing you can assess here is that I don't know if the triptych mech can actually affect anything in this position. So maybe try to get it up here. Let's see. Attack order is like this. So my first thought is to try to move this moth, block this attack, but I don't think you can do that very easily. I guess you could with two units. You would just, you have to spin it and then throw it, right? You spin it and then you throw it to here and it shoots. Oh, but it wouldn't shoot, its attack gets canceled if you throw it to there. That idea does not work. Okay. Let's think about it again. Mm. It's very, very messy. Where can I put you where you would be able to do something? That's the question, right? <clears throat> How do I get this unit to do something? I mean, I guess I could put you here and then you just get pulled in and take three. And that does block a hit, so, you know, it is something. You can throw this guy into the water, but that doesn't seem very good.
I love this track, by the way. I've said this many times now, but this is such a good song. Okay, so if I want to stop this attack, I have to walk over here and spin him. If I want to stop this attack, I have many options. Oh, I could do this, right? I could do this, can't I? And then you take three... But it's from the moth instead, and you're stopping damage. You're stopping two and one with this move. I could even go so far as to throw you out of here if I wanted to. Oh, also, no, you're not stopping that attack, by the way, because this enemy's pushing itself back. So you're actually not working as I would like. Gotta remember the, how the moths work. Four, five. Okay. Let's put Lily on this tile for a moment, and we can think about the rest of this now. I don't really like any of my options here is the problem. Nothing seems that good to me. Lily spins this. I, I feel like the only option that makes a whole lot of sense here is to tank this hit, but that doesn't feel that right. I mean, nothing feels all that good here. If the attack order was slightly different, as is often what I say, everything looks fine here, we have no problems, but alas. Can I do anything interesting? Not particularly, right? It feels like... I could sack one, I guess, is one idea. I'll just take this one. It does two. I, I can't, like, I can open a pit here, but... What does this do? Nothing much, right? Let's me kill this Plasmodia, potentially, but that doesn't seem that good. I can't really crack any other ground right now, and also cracking ground doesn't do much for me. I feel. I, just, I could do this, and this is an idea where I'm making this play and stopping damage for later, but... I don't know, I think I'm gonna take one. I think my final answer to this one is I just take the one. You spin this, you go... I don't want you to get shot, though. Hmm. Part of taking one was I was going to put three damage onto this enemy, but it doesn't work out that way. Well, I'm here now, and I don't want to spend my reset on this, so... I really don't want to send that moth out there, though. So I could put it, like... Here. I could put it in the corner, but it flies. I can put it here, I guess. It's just like, the water is really doing it to me here. Water plus flying enemies with this team is just tough. But you couldn't go down there to stop the Nautilus shell. So I guess we do this. And then this. Not a great turn, but it is a turn. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not bad, I guess. It's just you take one. Oh, you know, it does end up in the position, actually. Sorry, I missed that. Forgot that I, I remembered that he would move out of the way of the other attacks, but I didn't remember that he'd move in the way of an attack. How could I forget? God, I hate this enemy. Fuck you, moth. Uh, we got man, you're really you're really doing it to me here, huh, buddy? You, this Nautilus is really doing it to me. Might just be ta I might be bleeding more damage to moths here with no real recourse, unfortunately. Spore here. I can throw. We can do a little showdown. Fortunately, this guy moved in the way, right? Because I could do this. But, I don't know, it'll die. Okay, 
This seems like a viable first play. Kills you. I just have to take two here. Is that how this looks? No, I could stop this one. I have to take one here, it looks like. Remember the bonus objective, by the way. It's it's tough out here. We just don't really have the actions to do it, it feels like. But I'll find the time, I'm sure. As long as there's not a hundred spawns here. <laughs> one spawn. I need to kill both these moths. How's that look? Good. Very good. Thank you, moths. I need to stop this enemy, which I can do, and I can spin it to kill this, right? Yeah, okay. What a great turn. I think I have to, I have to position it a little differently, right? It has to be like this. I shot here, and it lied to me. You have to shoot here. There you go. Interesting that the preview was actually wrong. I guess it happens like that sometimes, though. And then I can do... I mean, get rid of one of these, I suppose. Then we just have... We have only... Only gonna have three enemies on the board. One of them is a moth. Oh wow, the Plasmodia Spore didn't do anything rude to me here. Lily can stop two attacks, and she won't die. She spins this. And then I can just go here, here I think for the bonus objective. Got pretty lucky with the end of this one I feel, but I'm not gonna complain. Lily spins that, she blocks this, and then you've already moved, yeah, I moved you to block that, okay. We took two, which isn't terrible, but not ideal. Oh, my alarm's going off. Last time my alarm went off during an episode, I forgot what I was doing, and then just threw my entire turn away. Time for that. What do we get? Move again after shooting. Ah. For one, he's got conservative. That's a new pilot. Cool. Uh, install this for the plus two damage. This thing doing three seems pretty strong. Two cores available. I could take network shielding, huh? My mobility seems very good on this team. I think I'm gonna go for plus two health. I think my next five power cores go to Lily here for plus one damage and network shielding. Although I could just put it over here. I'm fine. What we got? And with less than four, where's the coal plant? Coal plant's in a great spot, and with less than four, this mission seems very doable. Wow, this mission seems a lot less doable all of a sudden. Mm, we'll see. Every minute I spend with moths is too long. Aren't you in a position to go pop the soldier scion off? I expect to take like four targeted attacks here. Three is doable, I think. Probably. We can spin this, throw you. Probably probably something like this, right? Throw you here. I'm just gonna play it out as I see it. It doesn't really matter what the attack order is, right? Uh, shoot here. And then 
Uh, this is actually, you know what? Order. Not great to spend it on turn one like that, because now if I make like a terrible misclick or something, I will just lose, but... You gotta go here. You don't have the upgrade that kills this enemy yet. Which would be plus one damage, by the way. Or, plus, yeah, another plus one kills this guy here, but that's fine. A reasonable first turn, I would say. Kill a lot of them, we can now maybe lock them out. Shoot me, yeah, that's what I thought. Not great, not terrible. I think you just take the one here. Although, taking two and getting, oh, it has a push on it? Never mind, never mind that. Got my voice, that was like super crack, what the hell? Do you hear that shit? Hmm. So at some point I need to stop this Plasmodia. That's my first assessment. The second assessment is I can do an attack like this, which seems extremely high value. Stops this attack, kills this, and blocks this. That seems very strong. And then Lily could go... It's like Lily goes here. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'd rather crack the ground out here. Thinking about it now. And then you step here. Shoot there. Yeah. Nice. The key to this turn was finding this attack, where you throw this guy in the middle of everyone. A Nautilus shell has spawned in. Beware. What do we have here? We have these two are attacking us. Attack order. The alpha has to go first, of course. There's no, not like a doubt about that. I knew that. Again, it feels like it's something along the lines of just... Crack? Oh, he dies, really? Oh, because he's on cracked ground. Wait, if you kill an enemy on cracked ground, it makes more cracked ground for you? Hmm. Interesting. This turn is a little tricky, I feel, because... There's three attacks and we have three mechs, but not all of them can influence equally, right? Oh, that's right, this does do three now. So you just kill this enemy? This enemy, this firefly here, the non-alpha, is a little bit of an annoyance. I guess Lily just comes over here and spins it. And so it'd be shoot here, spin here, throw here. Yeah. Spin boys, and then... Oh. Plus two damage coming in handy already. Not bad, not bad. And then this is our final spawn. Yeah, Nautilus Shell is doing what Nautilus Shells do, which is uh, attacking you and not the buildings, of course. The only thing I have to watch out for here is I have to watch out for, like, unintended discovered attacks on buildings, right? I have to make sure I don't accidentally make something very wrong happen. Probably just push this enemy strike here and then... You can't throw a mountain, I don't think. I can throw this guy for XP. Seems fine to me. Not gonna cause it. I could have actually just thrown him into a pit there. I don't know that I think about it. Back order. Yeah, look at this. What I tell you, I have to look out for unintended discovered attacks. I almost killed Lily Reed here, which would have been. Oh, and it. Oh, it ruins my bonus objective. Oh my god. What a fucking idiot I am. Yeah, I mean this is very deserved. Yeah. Well, that's how it goes. I even said it, man. I even said I gotta watch out for any like that that just should be free. How do I not see that? 
I don't know. Defend the train? I'm not doing train penance. I, you know what, I, I ruined my bonus objective. This isn't Perfect Island anymore. Let's do penance by doing a train mission. Let's really suffer. I deserve this. God, these moths are gonna get crazy strikes on the train. Cause they're gonna like, walk up and shoot these buildings and back into the train. Yeah, we, oh, it didn't even do it, what the hell. So only one enemy is actually hitting the train here. Not so bad. But Alpha Man here is a problem. Alpha Plasmodia. This does three. I can just like walk away though. And it does four to its own own uh, leader. It does four to itself. Hmm. Probably don't. I mean, I can't end on this tile ever. Attack order is like this, unfortunately. Otherwise, I could throw this guy to here. Oh, wait. If I throw this enemy, it dies, right? Take six and dies? Yeah, okay. So I could just throw this guy and kill it. That's acid. And I guess Lily goes in the acid herself to spin. Yes, your only viable turn is to shoot. Yeah. It's fine. Wow, what the hell? I've never seen a Plasmodia be so, like, passive. I mean, it actually just killed itself. I've never seen a Plasmodia do this. I've always seen them be annoying pains and not just, like, kill themselves like this. Very strange, but... They literally can go here. I don't really want to crack these tiles, though, because that's kind of scary. Throw this guy over to the mountains. Lily can go here. I'm going to crack the tiles. It's fine. Go here. Yeah, this Plasmodia actually just straight up killed itself. Incredible. Wait, I killed the train. Yeah. That's my B. I didn't think about that. I thought I, I thought I threw it to a safe spot. So what? I had to throw it to here then, and go on this line. Yeah. I, I forgot that it would just pull itself right into the tracks. Seems like something I should recognize very easily, but for some reason that just it just did not click to me. Unbelievable. Probably don't need to spin that, probably just end turn. Yeah, that's okay. I mean that was a very completable train mission. I gotta say, this should have been a done one, but I'm not, I'm not really sweating it. Mistakes happen. The train was damaged, but you saved the crew. Yeah, close enough. Centipede leader. God, these towers are in such hell positions. Okay, so centipede leader is going to throw... Basically, what I want to do is I want to try to bait it into swinging here. I want it to shoot it on this line right here. If it shoots if it shoots on this line that it's currently standing on, it's hell. Because it's going to blow both of these buildings up. So in a perfect world, it would move to here and shoot on this line. And I'm positioning like this to try and get it to shoot on my three units. Because it has a three-way attack, right? Excellent. We got one. Alright. Now let's deal with the rest of this shit. So we can ignore the enemy this round. Or we could also push him. Or, or flip him and then shoot off in this direction, which is fine as well. Analysis, we have one, two, three attacks that matter here. I can, and in fact, I believe I must, this is three damage, gross. I think I have to push the alpha moth, or, because if I spin it, no, if I spin it, it's attack, it's canceled, that's fine. We can live with a canceled attack, okay. 
And then you can go here and shoot this way. Hmm, no you can't. Because we have a gastropod attacking. I guess another idea here would be to throw it into the water. This does three and gets it hit by the gastropod. This cancels the gastropod's attack and does four to the boss. So this seems like a win-win. Because even though they don't die in the water, they can't attack in the water, same as we cannot. Now you have to end up in this position, I feel, which is not ideal, but... The damage we get on the centipede leader has to be worth it. We set it to three, which means it can die next turn. And then we just cancel that attack. Because if they try to shoot off the board, they just don't get to. Mm -hmm. Wow. So we have one, two, three, four, five attacks on buildings here. Well, that's pretty rough. My initial feeling here is, damn bro, that sucks, you guys are gonna die. That's my first take at this. I think that this is a damn bro, that sucks out here. But they're, they're just getting blown away. I don't think you can stop it. We can do this shot here, throw the boss, and then Lily could come over here and do nothing of meaning. Yeah, I don't think there's anything Lily's able to do here. But she only does two enemies, they're all three, and she can't spin anything that matters. So my feeling, my, my first pass play would be throw this, spin the boss, uh, and then something else maybe. I can't throw the boss in, of course, for multiple reasons. One of them is I can't get into the position to throw it. And then also block this attack and just return fire, I guess. Because I'm not able to... Uh, there's no way that I can kill the spore. I think it's actually just not possible for me to kill the spore and stop the moth, right? I don't think that two of my characters can make it over there. So this building is gone. That's just all there is to it. We're going to push this enemy back because I don't want to end in water with the mech. And then you go here. Throw that. And you go here, spin that. Acceptable. Sucks to suck in there. Yeah, I mean, Plasmodia has just continued to prove why they're the worst enemy in the universe, by the way, in here. It's- I have to spend an action to kill the spore every turn. And I'm not, like, getting closer to being done, right? It's not like I'm getting closer to this, like, I, oh yeah, I kill the spore and it does one to this enemy, you know? At least the tumble bugs take one. And it, it feels just like randomness, more or less, on if you actually eat shit or not. Going three there, so you go here, Lily. Kill this guy. You can throw the boss out into hell. Oh, if they land in acid, they take double damage. That's good to know. Block this spawn and then hope the buzz mode. Uh, there should only be three valid attacks, so hopefully nothing that's like a hard checkmate. Yeah, it looks fine. Oh, he even attacked on the line with me. Cool. Now let's not throw this one at the last minute as I did recently. Try to avoid just tossing it all away after all the hard work. Throw you there and then. And repair. Okay. The island could have gone better. <laughs> Yo, they're, they're actually stuck there. What the hell? How are we getting that artillery mech out? Tell me. I don't know. I lost my perfect island, but that's alright. Uh, conservative I don't really care for in this one. I was nearby enemies to flip their attack direction. That seems like it's too chaotic for me. Bounce to an additional target? That, that one's kind of interesting. Freeze yourself in nearby tiles? That actually seems very good. Once per battle? I could take Archimedes' move again after shooting. 
I can see this being very good, but I'm giving up Technician or Skilled, which are both very good for Conservative. I'm just gonna move on like this, to be honest with you. And then I can go plus two to Lily, and she goes up to plus one damage. And then my next two go to Network Shielding. Oh, also, I'm not gonna keep this character, which I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and get the more defense. Oh, we're up to 13%. Alright. Again, not the perfect island I would have liked, but close enough. Uh, do I want to go for... What do I want to go for here? Real quick. I think I... I honestly, I kind of want to just go for the Volcanic Hive, but... I'll think about it. I think I'm going to end the episode, and I will either start... Uh, tomorrow will either be a shorter Volcanic Hive episode, or I'll go for three or four. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Oh, that's the start, start recording button.